Most people still think that building a mobile app means learning how to code or hiring developers for months. That used to be true. It is not true anymore. I'm going to show you how to build a real mobile app without writing any code. Not a mock-up, not a fake demo, a real app that actually works. And by the end of this video, you'll understand how to do the same thing yourself. Let me set the expectation clearly. This process does not replace coders or mobile app builders. It gives more people the ability to build mobile apps using AI. Developers are still needed for complex work and production systems. The only two tools we're using today are ChatGPT and anything. That's it. ChatGPT helps us think clearly about the app. Anything actually builds the app for us. You don't need to know how to code. I don't code mobile apps either. I have never written any code in my life and I'm not sure I ever will. The first thing I do is open ChatGPT. I start by describing the app in straightforward terms. I explain who the app is for, what problem it solves, and what these main screens are. This is exactly what I type into ChatGPT. I say, I want to build a simple mobile app that generates ChatGPT prompts for users. Users can copy these prompts and use them in ChatGPT. Do not add extra features. Do not improve the idea. Just structure what I described clearly so it can be built. Then give me the output in JSON form. We want the prompt in JSON because when you explain an app in standard text, tools can misunderstand you. They can skip things. They can add things you didn't ask for. JSON removes that confusion. It forces everything to be clear. Think of JSON like a checklist for the app. Nothing is hidden. Nothing is guessed. ChatGPT responds by organizing the idea into a clean structure. It explains the screens, the user flow, and the basic logic. As you can see, the response is extended. I'm not going to read the whole thing on screen. I will just copy and paste it. You don't need to understand every line of the JSON. That's not the point. Now I open anything. I create a new project and choose GPT 5.2 or Gemini 3 PRO. But for this tutorial, we will stick with just the recently released Gemini 3 Pro. I will select the max mode, which is the coding agent that debugs and tests your app when you behave abnormally or encounter an issue. Next, paste the description I got from ChatGPT. If the text is long, I paste it all. Then I hit enter. Anything now starts coding and app design. It creates the screens, connects navigation, and sets up the basic behavior. This process might take several minutes depending on the app's complexity. To recall, you can create an app for any idea you can think of. While coding, the max agent in anything will take over, show you a preview of the app and continue working in the background. It generates each component in the app and shows it to you in real time, step by step. Just look at this. It feels like watching a coder coding and showing you results in real time via the front end. I can preview the mobile app immediately. At this point, I check if the app matches what I originally described. If something feels off, I do not guess. I go back to chat GPT adjust the description slightly copy and regenerate in anything once the structure is correct i refine the app using simple instructions inside anything i can type things like simplify the onboarding adjust spacing on the home screen or change the app color to red i am not writing code I'm describing changes in plain English. When the app is ready, I test it immediately. So I will type any topic in the app and then click on generate. I can copy this prompt and use it in ChatGPT. And the app will be called ChatGPT Prompt Generator. So it works well. Anything also lets you test via your mobile phone. All you will need to do is click the QR code then download the app to test it. Once everything looks okay, I can click on publish, then submit to the app store. You can now create any app and publish it to the app store with no issues in just a short period of time. Still, inside anything, you can set the app name upload an icon, set up payments if I want the app to be paid. And add emails by just chatting.
anything can publish a web version right away at the top right which also gives you access to a domain name if you are a pro or max subscriber for mobile apps all you need is an apple account anything handles the rest anything also gives you the option to scan your app right within the chat whether it goes against apple guidelines or not and if it encounters anything it tells you to fix it right away anything is so good because it lets you do everything in one place from building your app to setting up payments hosting fixing bugs adding emails changing icons and submitting to the app store without any coding knowledge and that's it you just went from an idea to a real mobile app without writing a single line of code no tricks no hype just clear steps if this helped you like the video and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one